more than half of RCC students receive some type of financial assistance. And this number is increasing quickly. While many qualify for financial aid, this financial aid does not always cover necessities like books, rent, transportation, and childcare, without which students cannot succeed academically. 52% of RCC students report that they drop courses for non-academic reasons, such as child and elder care, or problems with transportation, health, employment, or legal issues. 65% of college students have avoided buying a textbook because of the cost, despite reporting concerns that not having the textbook would hurt their grades. 59% of college students were food insecure at some point last year, meaning they had limited or uncertain access to nutritious and safe foods. In 2007, the late Herbert Kurz, a philanthropist and businessman, established a student support fund at RCC to help students overcome obstacles to their success. Through this fund, now named the Herbert Kurz President Student Support Fund, in honor of its primary benefactor, RCC President Cliff L. Wood has distributed more than $1 million to 1,110 students, enabling them to stay in college and reach their goals. Our Student Support Fund, 100% of it goes back to others. We don't do anything administratively with those monies. The college manages those resources. We administer them, we keep records, we do all those things. So every penny that a person gives is gonna benefit a student directly. In, in some way, it's gonna buy a student book, it's gonna pay for tuition for a student who's not eligible for financial aid, it's gonna help a student whose car fell apart and has no resources, it's gonna provide a bus pass to somebody who doesn't have the money for transportation to get here every day. Without the President's Student Fund, I would not be where I am today. I am forever grateful because it gave me the opportunity to continue my education, go to college, and eventually graduate with my degrees. I am now working at a place that I love so much, that I am enjoying what I do, and that I continue to grow even more, and that it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't because of Dr. Wood's funds and what I have today, I will forever remember for his generosity, for his careness to all students, no matter where we come from, no matter our situations, it helped us all. It really helped us out because my family, at the time, only my dad was working and he could barely cover the bills and the rent as it was. You know, uh, my mom with my little sister always being sick from asthma and stuff, she couldn't go out and work for her own. So we were always kind of a bit of a tight, tight budget. And I think uh, the, the fact that I got to come to college to like learn a little bit more, put myself a little more ahead without having to worry about the money, it like took a big weight off my shoulders. So I always say to students at orientation, you know, if you don't ever leave Rockland Community College because of money, if you found nobody will help you, you come see me. So sometimes when people say, well, how do you decide how to help these students? If a student is motivated enough from hearing me speak at an orientation in November and remembering that and getting in real serious trouble to come see me, they've taken that step. Also, I trust our faculty. And we have wonderful faculty who will call me or send a student and say, my professor said to come see you. You know, I had this, my car completely broke and I missed two classes, what do I do? Uh, you know, today, a young woman lost everything in a fire this weekend. We've had two, like, so last semester we were able to help a young woman who lost everything in a fire, you know, really get herself together. I wouldn't be able to be in college if it, was, if it wasn't for his support. I received everything from him. He gave me like a full financial aid. Like he paid me the tuition, he paid me the books too. So, I mean, I was feeling very comfortable after that. I, I felt the pressure that I gotta do well to, you know, so he feels better, like he feels that he did a, a good job. If the fund wasn't available, I probably would have just kept working. Uh, basically two or three jobs, because um, it's very, <laughs> very difficult 
to afford uh, school and have other responsibilities. Thanks to him, I could go to school. So <laughs> I'm glad because I hope I really hope by you know 2018 I could become a you know get my degree and become a social worker. I am so happy because he like helped me to stay in the U.S. to really achieve what I came here to do, and I that I am so grateful and. I'm promising that I'm not gonna let him down because he trusted me and I have to do what I came here to do. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I met him. I think what I wanna leave behind as my legacy is our commitment to the respect for individuals regardless of their backgrounds and that this is a community and with the proper support many, many people can succeed and do really good things. And so that's really what's important to me, is that we have this leave with this legacy that the college, and I hope it continues, of helping those students with the greatest needs so they can be successful. Because a lot of times, really all people need is a chance. And they can be a variety of different things, whatever it is that they think they want to be. Well, Dr. Wood, I would like to bury very much uh, uh, thank you for uh, the opportunity you gave me. I appreciate it so much that you have no idea how much I would like to be there to like shake your hand, maybe make, make you a cake if possible. I would like to like show you in any way or form possible that you, what you did did not go to waste and that I will take what you gave me and try to give it back as plentiful as I can to everybody. I would like to say um, thank you, <laughs> um, thank you for everything because um, I really do hope to become a social worker and help others and um, actually <laughs> have a degree in my hand soon. <laughs> and um, I mean it's great that he was able to, to help me. and. Um, <laughs> I'm able pretty much to, I guess, uh, become somebody. <laughs> I would first like to hug him and thank him. Generally thank him. I know I can never do anything or say anything to show how grateful I am. Because I don't know what I would do without him. He was the light in the end of my tunnel. As corny as it sounds, he was. And I, I'm indebted to him forever. Oh my God, he's an angel sent from God, from heaven by God himself to come touch lives like us, people like us, to help those who are not able to do some certain things. Those who have passion to get something but can't reach because of the circumstances. I believe he's like an angel, you know, angels are not, they don't come with wings. They, in human form, they come like that, just like that, it can be your neighbor. I think he is an angel because he's humble. I don't know. I just see him as an angel, came from heaven to help us. And I believe he doesn't only help us, with finance, I think he helps everybody, maybe emotional. So many people, I believe so many people must have tasted something from him. I know that because he's a good man. I believe so, and I know that, and I know God is going to bless him so much. I don't know, but I thank him for my future. I'll miss him, yeah, but I am so grateful that he secured something for me. Something I'm going to hold on to complete my studies. Something I never knew I would get. I am so happy. He's just an angel. The kind of angel I needed when I wanted one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Wood. Thank you for everything. May God bless you.